Well, today we'll be giving a lesson to Allie. Oh, we included her red floor, so she's one of our most easygoing mares, and Allie has never ridden a horse before. Since Chlora is so easy going, I put most of my beginners on her, but not always. When we got to Glory's stall, I had to turn the camera off because she was spooking a bit when we tried to put our halter on. When I finally got her halter on, I started to lead her down to the tack up area because Allie wasn't sure how to lead and she didn't know Glory quite yet. See right there, Glory kind of pulled to the food shop and tried to get a bite of something. But I made sure to tell her no and started pulling her back to the tech up area. On our way down to the tech up area, I explained to Allie how to tech up and everything, and off camera, I let her hang out with Glory for a bit. And right here in this clip, you can see how Allie, she was so good when she put the saddle on. Like, she made the cinch the perfect tightness, and she was just phenomenal. I had Allie hop on Glory, and then I led them both to the arena, hoping to get Allie to trot today. I mainly planned on just lunging, since this was her first time on a horse, but she was very timid, because Glory is a 16-2 mare, which is quite tall for a beginner to be riding. I opened the gate, and it, it was very squeaky today. I thought Glory may have spooked, but nope, she didn't. She was being perfectly fine with the new rider on her. As you can see in this clip, I was just lunging Glory, and Allie was being perfect. She wasn't putting too much pressure on her a bit whenever I'd ask her to put her heels down. She did exactly what I asked. I don't think I've ever had a student this cooperative. After I started lunging her counterclockwise, I then started lunging her clockwise, and she hasn't been ridden in a few days, so I figured this is a perfect glory to stretch her legs, considering that my last student had to move. I took Glory off the lunge line, and I let Allie just walk her around the arena. And I think Allie will be perfect for my little, small, but growing uh, lesson program. I think she'll be staying a very long time, and I can't wait to watch her progress. I then had her switch directions, and I asked her to go into a trot, and keep in mind, a lot of this is off camera, and I've been working with Allie for about, in, for about an hour, probably 45 minutes to an hour at this point, and I felt really comfortable with her trotting, so that's why she's trotting already.
After she started trotting, her mother calls and said that she'll be here soon. So I then had Allie hop off about five minutes later and let her leave Glory back, which I know it's so surprising. I normally leave the horses. Um, but so I let her lead Glory back to the tack up area and I let her untack. And then I decided to go on a little hack by myself and go to Dundle's small arena to jump Glory. So after Allie untacked, I then went down to Dundle. Okay, I'm sorry, but look at Glory's mane. She is such a beautiful mare, and I am so lucky to have her. And I don't think I'm ever going to have to sell her, because she is such a sweetheart, and she's perfect for my lesson program. And she's helped a lot of children progress in their riding, and took in one kid to, kid to state jumping. I believe it was in Yarlow. I wasn't able to go, though. As Allie intact, I noticed that Glory very much wanted to go on that ride. So I made sure to take an extra long ride with her at Dendal, and I think she enjoyed it. So just wait and see for that. After I got to Dendal, I unloaded Glory and I tacked her up off camera because I had to put her show jumping the saddle on. Slash her trail ride and hack saddle because I just prefer this one because it fits her a little bit better. But I do use my black one for the lesson students because it fits other people better. But this one fits Glory perfect. And I've got this saddle just so that it's mine. So yeah, that's why I switched her pack out. So my cameraman wasn't able, actually I should say, camera woman wasn't able to come with me so I just threw my GoPro on and recorded a first person, but I did have someone able to record later down the road, so yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see that. As you can see right here, we were just cantering down to the arena, and Glory was awesome. And instead of having a camera woman or man, I actually got a drone to kind of follow behind me, and I guess it was very dangerous because Glory could have spooked at it, but I still wanted to get footage, but she was perfectly fine with it, and we had no issue. Right here is the beautiful arena that we all love, and it was, no one was here which was nice, but the ground was very soft, which I was concerned about, and because I don't want too soft of ground that Glory's hooves would soak into, because she does have very soft hooves that can't get damaged no matter what, and she jumps very hard and smacks the ground, so I didn't want the ground. To like go down more if that makes any sense. I just walked her around and catched her around one of the jumps and then I jumped and I probably would have chipped it if it wasn't for me riding glory because nothing was right. I took a stride off and 
my posture was terrible because I was not expecting to go that jump. And I decided, oh, well, yeah, let's just go. I then jumped over this jump, which I for sure chipped. I, I could. I knew her foot touched it. Hoof. And it was, it probably looked terrible. So, yeah, that was definitely a chip. I kicked her around the arena. We were at an extended, extended canter. And I, my drone died. So, yeah, also, I put a jacket on and then I led uh, her back to the. I bet led her from the trailer down to the large stall, and sorry that a lot of footage wasn't recorded, it's because it did die. So yeah, um, and this is just glory, having fun in the large stall, just trotting, messing around, having fun. I think she enjoyed the ride, and I can't wait to do more videos with her. I think she's such a beautiful horse, and I don't think she should end up as a kill shelter where I found her. I may make a video on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I found her as a kill shelter. I don't know who would ever give up a beautiful, stunning, athletic horse like this. 